Welcome back. We have Dr. Ched Wagyu here on behalf of Memorial Care Saddleback Medical Center. He's a neurosurgeon and he's the director of the stroke program over there. So it's been 17 years since you've been over there and this is the first time we're seeing you. I am so surprised. They have kept you under wraps. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on the show today. Such a pleasure seeing you today. Well, we're really glad you can make it in. As we were talking a little bit off camera, you know, it takes a big team over there. I guess you could say it takes a village. Yes. And there's lots of different moving parts with strokes and their department. But before we get into that, um, just tell me a little bit about yourself. And you, obviously, you've been with Memorial Care for a long time. Yes, uh, I have. I'm actually originally from New York, uh, trained out in New York in, uh, for medical school and uh, neurosurgery training. Okay. I did a subspecialty fellowship in interventional neuroradiology and endovascular neurosurgery in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm and then migrated to uh, warm and sunny, kind of, <laughs> well, <laughs> Southern California. The last hundred and so days, not so much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I've been in this area for about 17 years or so. Okay, great. And, and you never look back, right? Never really look back. Excellent, excellent. Oh, did you come in as a medical director or were you doing something else at the hospital? Uh, I didn't come in as a medical director. Actually, the Saddleback Stroke Program started around 2013, 2014, sometime around there. Okay. And so we didn't have a medical director for the first few years while I was in practice. Okay, great. So you just sort of migrated into that and now you've been busy uh, building up a fantastic team, it sounds like. Yes, it's an incredible team. We have such exciting things that are going on in the hospital now with regards to management and treatment of patients with strokes. Okay, fantastic. So uh, when we talk about strokes, tell me what it is. So essentially, um, when we talk about strokes, we're talking about brain attack. So what does that mean? That means a patient who was previously normal can suddenly have a sudden deterioration in their neurologic function. Mm -hmm. And that deterioration a lot of times is due to a blockage of one of the blood vessels that's supplying the brain. Mm -hmm. And so as with a heart attack, with brain attack, time is brain. The right. longer it takes to reverse this situation, the worse one does. The mm. quicker that we can get them to treatment, the better a patient does. Okay, and, and what is that time frame? I mean, if you're, if you're suffering a stroke, which I know some women think it's not a stroke at all, they think it's indigestion or something like that, yes. what's their time frame? Uh, quickly, I mean, we need to, we're talking within minutes, right? Oh, wow. Uh, depending on how one's blood vessels in the head are put together and the availability of collaterals, mm -hmm. uh, one can have only five, six minutes wow. of, of symptoms before things become permanent. Mm. Other people can have maybe a few hours. Uh, we're able to give the intravenous clot-busting medication up to about three hours okay. uh, safely in most people, and in some people up to four and a half hours. Okay. And then uh, we have the option of doing intervention, which means going in and mechanically restoring blood supply to the brain and opening up the blood vessel. Uh, up to about you know six hours, but even that's sometimes variable depending on the the um, the circulation that right. one has. Okay. Sometimes we can do it even later, up to 24 hours after the symptom onset. Okay, and let's talk about the symptoms. What are the symptoms? Uh, the symptoms are variable. We tend to remember the acronym BFAST, mm -hmm. and it essentially we'll look at the different um, uh, the different uh, uh, occurrences that might happen with a patient. Maybe issues with balance or vision in the part of the visual field might be missing mm -hmm. or weakness in the face, the arm or the leg, numbness or tingling or weakness. And uh, of course, the, the most important thing with this is, well, when did that start, which is time. So, mm -hmm. uh, and if you break them down, then BFAST is the acronym, acronym right. that we use. Okay, and then when you talk about them having per, some sort of paralysis or weakness, yes. is it always one side or the other? Uh, variable. So it all okay. depends on where in the brain this is going on. It can be either the right side of the face or left side of the face, right side of the body, uh, particularly in locations like the brain stem, mm. it can be crossed. So you mm. can have one side of the face and the opposite side of the body. Okay. All right. It, it's just so interesting because, like I said, a lot of people don't necessarily recognize that they're having a stroke yes. until they get to the hospital. And yes. then they, you die, well, you, you've had a stroke. And there's so many different things that can happen, like you mentioned. Yes. It could be a permanent or maybe a temporary situation. Yes, yes. Um, so to get to the hospital is really the, the best thing to do as soon as possible. What would a, let's say they called an ambulance, can, can the ambulance operators and the medical folks there help them at that time that they arrive at their home? 
Uh, not yet. Um, there's a lot of um, investigation into what might be available as far as you know, mobile stroke treatments. Uh, okay. We're certainly not doing that yet in Orange County. Okay. And so the idea is to get to a center that can handle a stroke, of which Saddleback Memorial you know, Center is. Yeah. It is a designated stroke receiving center and soon will be a thrombectomy capable center with DNV. Wow, that's excellent. That's yes. great. Yes. Now you are going to have a talk that's coming up with a panel of doctors and this looks like it's going to have a lot of great information. Yes, this is another exciting event that's coming up in the next couple of weeks, I believe. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's on the screen here. It's Monday, June 19th. Yes. In addition to being able to discuss um, <clears throat> you know, management, prevention, and treatment of uh, you know, stroke, we'll also be discussing other uh, very exciting topics such as management of neck and back pain, um, you know, compression fractures that might occur in, in patients, uh, okay. management of brain tumors and skull-based lesions. Oh, that's great. So there's great. a lot coming up. Yeah, they're, they're, it's, it's jam-packed with lots of different doctors as we are showing on the screen there, which is nice because yes. you're going to have different panels. And that's going to be from 5.30 to 7, yes. which is a, you know, a good time frame. It's going to be at Clubhouse 5. Now, uh, what, what are some of the things that are like you're going to have? Is each person going to give a talk about their specialty and then they'll have a Q&A or how is it going to work? Yes, so that's exactly the format that's going to be used. Each, each uh, you know, surgeon, each participant, We'll discuss a, you know, a, a topic of interest basically for, okay. you know, for all of us and for the community and then there'll be a Q&A afterwards. Okay, fantastic. Now, the, what's interesting is we just held up uh, one of the flyers and it has a QR code on it. So I just found this out the other day that you could literally take your phone right now and you can put it on your screen on that QR code. You have to be on photo yes. and you can, it'll pick it up and it'll take you right to the information. I didn't know you could do that on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Well, where awesome. have I been for the last 20 years or whatever? <laughs> but anyway, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank Good you. information, and I'm glad we finally got you in here. Thank you so See, much. See, now you did so well, they're going to have you come back. Awesome. Thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> All Thanks right, very thank much. You. Take care. If you want more information about anything that we have discussed here or about the program that's going to be happening, you can always RSVP to Jessica Sanders by calling 949 452 3791 or you can just call her and ask her about the information and she'll forward it off or you can go to their website which is memorialcare.org forward slash lw neuro we'll be right back <laughs>